Support from Riccioni. And there's an offside here. This is what England did against Scotland. They gave away a whole raft of penalties in the opening few minutes. And that's their second one already. And there's a chance at the outside for Montagliari. Oh, what a blistering beginning by the Italians. Kyle Sinkler now. He gets a shoulders assistance from Vinny Pola over this time. Mike Allenson looks again and he says yes this time. My heavens did England do some pounding on that Azuri line there. Going back for that, Luke Cowan Dickey. The result out to get a penalty. He goes forward and then it's just match, 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 bosh, 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 until eventually the bigs. The big giraffe from Exeter gets over with a little bit of help. The referee is there, that's a try. And that is sapping the strength out of Italy at the moment. Thank you. He's popping up in good positions. Is the England outside centre. Now it's Sinkler. The ball in behind Mario Atoje, but no knock on. Beautiful by Courtney Laws. Johnny Hill. And here's Watson's going to coast his way through to the line. And that Italian defence was sucked into the vortex by England. England making progress. What a good finish it would be to this first half. They could score another try. Here's Elliot Daly. Johnny Bay. Can he squeeze in? A hurdling, flying leap from Johnny Bay. And is that try number 32 to take him past Greenwood and Corn? Listen in. Okay. Okay, on-field decision is try. Oh, he can please. touch the flag. That is, if he's got this down, he has. This is... It doesn't matter that he touches the corner post. Doesn't matter at all. <laughs> That's fine. Did he go up the trapeze line to start with, though? We won't see from this angle. I'm just checking control. I think they just need to go touch. back a little bit because, again, he's precariously close control. to that white line. That is some finish. We sort of Zamet was there for Wales, got a tremendous try. I stick with your Equally as good, try. but he's there. He's okay. He's okay. He's okay. What a finish! Take a bow, Johnny May. This is where the Italians are inclined to lose composure, run out of ideas as the phases build. Can they create here? No, they can't. They just give the ball away to Anthony Watson. And Gorbisi, with all his pace, is not going to catch the British and Irish Lion, Anthony Watson, who scores his second try, and with it, the bonus point for England. Over, coming on the ball at the right angles, and again, just a forcing of a pass when they really didn't need to do it, you just needed to trot your forwards out a little bit more. Varney's down there, his, his players all over the park. I think I got my Brexes and my cannons mixed up because both of them are down now. And that is heart-wrenching from an Italian point of view. You can see there was support out there wide. Gabrisi pops it out. And Watson just picks it out. Picking. Toshe again, there's space on the left-hand side. There's space on the right-hand side. But the forwards will drive for the line, and they don't need anybody in those wide channels. They leave it to Jack Willis. Again, it's just a procession to the line. Willis, that was the first time he didn't get there then. It's just recycle, take your time, recycle. Anthony Watson was screaming for it down on his right-hand side for the, uh, the kick pass. But in the end, it's Willis against the 10, seven against the 10. You're never going to stop him from there. <laughs> And I think that says it all. It's three losses in their last 30 here at Twickenham. So it's a very good record. Here is Varney getting some spaces, Varney. Oh, that's brilliant from Morley. What an offload. What a try by the Italians. Scored by Tommaso Allen. Well, the replacements came thundering into the game with some nuclear attacking for Italy. Makes an impact off the bench at an inside centre roll who actually busts three tackles. That's fantastic support play by Allen. And this is where, historically, Italy go out of games because, again, they can't keep up with the pace and they've hit back straight away. A lovely little break from Varney. Again, good scrimmage, 
catches the little simple, take the ball up on the right-hand side. Away on the left-hand side. England may score yet, though. Robson gets it out. And England get it in through Elliot Daly, who scores for the white shirts. There he is, offload bang. That's how, that's how you get past any defence in the world, by riding a tackle and just popping that ball up. It wasn't a risky pass, and then England can just build and build, and you're right, that ball should have gone from Ford. Kerry's back out there, he's in the line, he's got options. Anthony Watson, no, sorry, it's Robson comes in just in front of Anthony Watson, that's over the top. And that's just pressure, power and pace from England again. There you go. See, that's the difference. An open side flanker that's linking play, whichever he does, invariably underused as far as I'm concerned when England are playing the kicking game. Hamish Watson with the dummy. The little chip over the top, it's Darcy Graham, and Graham's away, and he gets the try. The man who scored two tries here against Georgia in the autumn. But Ali Price lifts his head, beautifully way to kick off his wrong foot. And Darcy Graham, sharp as a samurai's blade to get onto it. You just see the anticipation, obviously Happy something goal. they've worked on. Gareth Davis defends Thank in you. the front line for Wales in their 22. And Graham is there to capitalise. Scotland strike. Graham picks it up, puts it there to Price. Chris Harris. Russell, speed through the hands Nine. is impressive. There's a chip ahead from Hawk. Back goes half penny. Oh, it's there. And Scotland have got a second try. Well, it was a gloriously worked move. That man, Stuart Hogg, getting his 21st test try. Then it becomes a two on two. There's space in behind. So Hogg chips it over and shows absolute lightning speed to put Lee half penny under pressure going down on the ball and he's having to turn you, you see half penny trying to shut the gate in the outside channel then the chip comes through he's got to turn round and he feels the pressure the ball goes down cannot gather hog is there with all the momentum behind him and the slippery surface is, is enough for the scotland captain to get over the line and scotland capitalize once again takes a little advantage. look inside the shoulder there of finn russell bigger Nick Tompkins does well to get it away. Liam Williams and Reese Samet a step inside. An absolutely vital score for the men in ring. Yeah. There's the ball to Bigger. Holds it a little bit. It was that Tompkins pass. He drew in Van der Merwe, got the pass away, and Lewis Reese Samet. Darcy Graham, nothing he could do. Watch the work here from Tompkins, though. Drifts off, takes the tackle of Harris, spins out, gets the ball away from Duhan Van der Merwe. And from there, it was hands to Reese Zamet, who stepped off his right and Thank finished off. And Wales have made Thank the you. most of an opportunity to finish this half strong. And that's a crucial score in the context of this match. Well, he's quite a try machine, is Lewis Reese Zamet. Got the crucial score last week. Swimming a little bit up the side, but this is well orchestrated by Wales. Ken Owens has still got it. Yeah. Hardy feeds the ball out. Terrific hands, Lewis Free Samet. There's time and space, and Liam Williams and Wales have got another. They're right back into the match. Questions that it's posing at the moment. Matt Carley's arm out there for penalty advantage. Early Thank touch, Hallow Hold, a lovely sleight of hand by Sheedy to get through the hands to Reese Samet. Gets the ball away to Liam Williams. He doesn't need a second invitation to finish that one off with open prairie in front of him. Wales strike the all-important first score of this second half. They're right back in the mix now. But they are presented with the same open window this time. Wynne Jones being held up. They think they've got over. it down. Matt Carley's trying to get himself in position. Time off. Time off. By the end of today, if they don't beat Wales. Bind. Set. Price with the pudding. There it is for Matt Ferguson. The referee urging Ali Price to use it. Price feeds the ball out. Russell. Through goes Stuart Hogg. The first tackle missed, and Hogg has got there. What a response from the Scots. In his footwork, you just see the little goose step that gets him away from the defender and he's over in the corner, it's magnificent footwork. I think it's Owen Watkin that's opposite him. Just look at the goose. 
just gets himself half a yard, a little bit of a fend. Nick Tompkins can't reel him in, and the captain looks up, knowing that he's bagged the brace and got his side back in front. Well, it's the burst of pace. Owen Watkin finding himself a little bit flat-footed. And you can see, well, what a difference a few weeks makes. The Autumn Nations Cup. The headlines from there were about maybe the concerns we had about the quality of Test Rugby. What a start it's been to this season's Six Nations Championship. Lewis Reed Samet, he's got first run on Hogg. Oh, that's brilliant. That is spectacular from Lewis Reed Samet. And my goodness, look at this for a razor sharp finish. The opportunity comes in the outside channel. He gets a yard away from Duhan van der Merwe, who's had to bite in, chips Stuart Hogg. And from there, he has all, all the momentum. Perfectly weighted chip, bounces up, and it looks like such a simple finish off the back of it. But just look at this. He's full speed, puts it onto his right foot, and it's perfectly weighted. He could not place that any better. Regathers and goes over. Penno and France just six or seven metres short now of the Irish line. It's flown out to Fiku and a lovely pop pass off to Olivon and France are going to get in. Wonderful, Olivon scores the try from France. 29 minutes it's taken them to wake up, but when they did, wow. Mixed with the balance of deft skill. OK, there's a bit of a bounce pass here, which always sets the defence up. Jameson Gibson Park, well, you look back and say, well, maybe I could have done that slightly differently. It's always tempting, though, to rush out. Has to rush out on the man, though, but brilliant from France. Lovely little cameo in. Dupont goes looking for it. Somehow Ireland need to hold France out. It can't be any more than three if they have designs on winning this game, you feel. Pass will go to Dula. He goes past the first tackle. It was Lowe who didn't make it, and it's Benno who finds the corner. Around Damien Benno came. Have to make sure that you collect man and ball. And he didn't do that, which just allowed Bryce Doolan to step on his inside shoulder. And it's, it's an offload with the wrong hand, which is brilliant. As he's trying to fend his way into the corner. Offloads to Penno. Good finish. Yeah, James Lowe won't want to see that one. Ireland don't. Well, they do somehow come away with it. I'm not sure how, but Kelleher's into the game, and Kelleher has a try. Well, we need to go back and look at that, because it looked like Ireland had botched the line out, but it's regained, and what an impact from the bench from Kelleher. What a react to it. Where that Just ball's going. Seconds, when Ronan Keller yeah, take time off, Andrew. There's no TMO He's in and behind. What? Well, look at him get those knees sure up. There isn't a knock on. The Christoph is very clear. Pushing the air off. Backwards off as he comes blue. across. So, so unless there's evidence to fully for show that it's a knock on, then. A potential knock on. Thank you. Time on. Try stands. Try stands, says the referee.